What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and I am back! That's right, I am back making videos. Sorry I haven't been making videos for so long, guys. It's just that I've been kind of under the weather lately. But don't worry, I'm okay now. Ugh. Now, you guys are probably wondering what the heck happened. Well, let's just say... Here's a little tip for you guys. Never take your dog for a walk after when you just got done eating uh, out at a restaurant in the hot heat, okay? Never do that. Because if you do that, your chest will be hurting. You'll be, like, yakking up stuff, sneezing, coughing, and all sorts of other junk. So, yeah, don't do that. That's a, that's a tip for the day. Don't do that. But don't worry, guys. I am just fine after a few drinks of water and some uh, well-deserved rest. I am healthy as a horse. I am just fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure all of you guys know... Um, what I put on my community tab. And I, and you guys guessed right, Five Nights at Freddy's is going to be invading my channel. Anyway, um, speaking of those characters that's on the, uh, that's on the uh, community tab, um, sadly, I couldn't get the, uh, the uh, Franny group. I can't get them yet. So that's just going to wait. But until then, I'm going to bring on some... Uh, interesting Five Nights at Freddy's characters who you guys really, really would like to see. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to bring back Roxanne Wolf. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing sometime. Who knows? But anyway, until then, um, I'm going to be playing Would You Rather. That's right, guys. I'm playing Would You Rather. Back at it again. And today, for my first Five Nights at Freddy's guest, I am bringing on one of the most beloved Five Nights at Freddy's characters in all of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Um, she is seen with a beak, but most people like her without the beak sometimes. Uh, she pretty much made everybody go nuts with her design. Um, and not only that, but she is like the uh, inspiration of uh, the first design from the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, game, I guess. Well, not really inspiration, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the one, the only, Toy Chica. Yeah, that's right. I'm here with Toy Chica. Anyway, go ahead, Toy Chica. Say hi. Why, hello there, everyone. It's really nice to see you all. And I do like to thank Flame the Dragonhawk for inviting me onto the channel. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So, um, let me ask you something. Uh, how do you feel now that, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is way over and Security Breach has taken over? Oh, it just gives us, it just gives us animatronics from the old age to finally rest. And besides, it's about time for us to, you know, just... Settle down after a whole day of, you know, scaring the crap out of the security guard. <sighs> I just need a rest. Well, I can understand that. Everybody needs sleep. By the way, um, can I ask you something? Sure. Um, most people seem to like you with or without your beak. So, my question is, do you like taking your beak off? Well, maybe... Because if you think about it, if I take my beak off, then I'll be able to have room for more pizza. I can just stuff my face without ever having to worry about pecking. Well, that's definitely something. And tell me, how do you feel about, you know, the people <laughs> in, like, Rule 34, DeviantArt, and Google, and lots of other people making, like, interesting fan art of you? Well, I don't have a problem with it at all. I find it rather flattering that lots of people like to draw pictures of me. Well, I'm talking about, like, very, very inappropriate pictures sometimes. Well, again, I don't mind. Everybody can draw whatever they like. Well, at first I thought you were going to be mad, but nope, not at all. Now why would I be mad at somebody who likes to draw me? I mean, look at me. 
And I couldn't, and I can't stop looking at you, Jesus. You know, you were always one of my favorite animatronics from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Really? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Freddy and the others, they're okay. Freddy, I mean, don't get me wrong. Toy Bonnie, Toy Freddy, and lots of others, they're okay. Puppet, he's cool. But I'm not gonna lie, with the wither versions of you in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, um, they're kind of scary. Yes, the Withers. Oh, for those of you guys who don't know who the Withers were, um, you guys, the Withers are the, uh, are the, another name for the, uh, dismantled versions of the Five Nights at Freddy's characters in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. You know, you know, Foxy, Chica, um, Bonnie, and Freddy, of course. And, not to mention, uh, Mangle, he was in there. I'm not gonna lie, it was definitely something Mangle. Oh, Lord. By the way, Mangle, whatever happened to her? Oh, Mangle. I don't like to talk about her like that that much. Oh. Well, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, what about Balloon Boy? How's he doing? Oh, Balloon Boy's just fine. Well, that's cool, I guess. Oh, Lord. But also, another thing. Um, another quick question before we get started. Okay. Um, how do you feel about, okay, out of all the different versions of you, which one do you like the most? Hmm, well, I'm not gonna say my first self, which is my, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 self. I'm not really a big fan of that one. Um, Wither Me? Nah, I don't really like that one. Hmm... Phantom Me? No, I don't really like that one either. You know, the one from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Yeah, I've seen her before. Ooh. Oh boy. Um, what about Nightmare Chica? Oh, no, no, no. I don't like that version of myself. Oh, well, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, uh... What about Funtime Chica? Fun time, Chica. Yes, I can definitely get behind her. She's really cute and kind and just tries her best to, you know, be all that she can be. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. How about... Oh, how about Glam Rock Chica? I mean, the newer version of you. Oh, yes, Glam Rock Chica. She definitely earns my respect. After all, she has big shoes to fill. That is true. I mean, she is the newest Chica. She is the newest Chica, and she does have a reputation. I mean, look at all the different versions of her before her. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. But I'm not going to lie. Out of all the Chicas, you are definitely my favorite one. You and Glam Rock Chica. I mean, don't get me wrong. No, it's fine. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get on with this game of Would You Rather. Now, um, have you ever played Would You Rather before? No, I haven't. How do you play? Well, it's quite simple. Would You Rather is a multiple choice game where you have to pick between two options. And whichever option that you pick that has the most percentage of people that agrees with that option, you get a point. But it all depends on the last question, which means all the other questions don't matter. It's the final question that determines the winner of the whole game. I see. Well, let's begin. All right. And sorry for that long uh, intro, guys. But anyway, <clears throat> if you guys want to see more Would You Rather videos, hit that like button. And let me know in the comments down below which Sonic, MLP, or in this case, Five Nights at Freddy's character would you like to see me play Would You Rather next? And also, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring Toy Chica back onto the channel. And maybe when she comes back, she might have her beak on. But, personally, I do prefer her beak off. I mean, look at her. She looks cute without her beak. Aw, really? Yeah, you do. Look at you. <laughs> also, I couldn't help notice, um, why the world does your bib say Zam instead of, you know, let's eat? I mean, have you looked at me? I mean, wouldn't you say Zam? Okay, honestly, I would. <laughs> honestly, I would. I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly say Zam. I would say, damn! But, yeah. Anyway, let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing going because, uh, yeah, I'm on a tight schedule here. Oh? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of videos that I got to make to make up for um, the ones that uh, <laughs> I left, I didn't do. But, anyway, 
So for these games, would you rather, I actually have like categories here. And since you're the guest, I would like to, for you to um pick a category. Um, okay. Um, well, most chicas, they do love to eat. So how about food categories? Okay, the food package. That's not too bad. All right, so let's see here. So first question, would you rather eat a box of dry spaghetti noodles or eat a cup of uncooked rice? Okay, both of which is really disgusting. I mean, who would want to eat uncooked rice? And not only that, but dry spaghetti noodles? I mean, hello, think about it. Think about how much that hurts. I mean, just munching and crunching on the hard spaghetti noodles. Just think about how hard it's going to be. Yes, that is true. I guess I would eat the, um, raw... I guess I would eat the cup of uncooked rice. Yeah, same here. I would rather do that. I mean, if it's like that minute rice, I wouldn't mind. But that cup rice, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that, no. But anyway, yeah, I would rather eat the, uh, the cup of rice. Me too. Yeah, because honestly, I don't think I would rather want to eat the spaghetti noodles. That's disgusting. Ew. Anyway, let's see. Whoa, okay, so 77% would rather eat the box of spaghetti noodles, while 23% would rather eat the, um, uncooked rice. Okay, why exactly would they do that? I don't know. I was thinking smart because if you think about it, if you eat the because if you eat the uncooked rice, then it will go down easier instead of just you munching and crunching and all that other junk. I mean, think about it. That would hurt swallowing. I mean, think about it. That would hurt swallowing. I mean, wow. That would hurt. Anyway, let's keep on going. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, would you rather eat an egg with a half-formed chicken inside, no offense, Chica, or eat five cooked cockroaches? Okay, that's, okay, both of which is really, really disgusting. Both of which is really, really disgusting. I mean, really eating an egg with a half-formed chicken in it? I mean, really... You're practically eating the chick. Well, we're practically doing that. I mean, think about it. We're practically doing that if we, um, uh, if you think about it. Because, uh, you know, the yolk and stuff, that's pretty much the, uh, egg, the chicken, um, you know. Well, I do take offense to that because I am a chicken. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, sorry if I, uh, <clears throat> scarred you anyway uh let's see i guess i would rather eat the five cockroaches because honestly i would not want to eat an egg that has a half-formed chicken in it yes that is really disgusting i think i would do the same yep okay let's see yep 53 percent agree with us they're smart because honestly who in their right mind would want to eat an egg that has a half-formed chicken in it i mean that's just disgusting that's just disgusting. Anyway, let's keep on going. Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting. So we have this question. Would you rather eat a sandwich made from four ingredients in your refrigerator chosen at random or eat a sandwich made by a, by, by a group of friends, of your friends, from four, from four ingredients in your refrigerator? Okay, so basically, so basically they're asking, would you want to eat a sandwich that has like random ingredients from your refrigerator, or would you want to eat a sandwich made by your friends using four ingredients that they picked from your refrigerator? Um, honestly, if I was going to eat a sandwich, I would rather make it myself because... I remember this one time, Toy Bonnie, he actually tried to make me a sandwich, and it didn't taste so good. Um, what was wrong with it? What was wrong with it? Well, the mayonnaise he used was way past its due date. The meat he used was, um, 
kind of bad. And the cheese, well, definitely moldy. And the what about the um bread? Oh, the bread was fine, but the but the other stuff, no thank you. Okay, but uh what about the lettuce or what else did you have on the sandwich? Oh, I had bacon. Oh, well that's good. Too crispy and burnt. Oh. Talk about a messed up sandwich. Yikes. Well, at least he tried. Yeah, he did try. So, you're saying you would rather pick the pink option? Absolutely. If I was going to have a sandwich, I would rather make it myself instead of, you know, having somebody else make it. Yeah, that is true. I mean, think about it. What if they don't make the sandwich the way you like it? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, so I'm not going to pick the purple answer either because most of the friends that I have, they like playing jokes on me, so... Yeah, not doing that. So, yeah, I would rather pick the pink option as well. Let's see. Yep, 55% agree with us. They are smart. They are smart. They are smart. They are smart. Okay, so let's continue on. Oh, okay. So, would you rather eat rice with every meal or eat bread with every meal? Well, that doesn't really matter. I mean, we're both going to get our I mean, we're going to get our grains anyway. And grains is definitely a important part of your diet or, you know, part of your food groups that you need to eat. Um, but most people do like to eat bread with their um, meal. Lots of people like to eat bread. I mean, think about it, guys. Why else, with rest why else in restaurants do they always give you, like, buns or biscuits or breadsticks to go along with your meal? I mean, think about it. <laughs> well, yes, that is true. Well, tell me, at your pizzeria, what do you give out? Oh, we give out breadsticks. <laughs> figured. I mean, it's a, it is a pizza place. Well, sometimes we don't always give out breadsticks. Oh, really? What else do you give out? Cheesy bread. Oh, well, that's a whole different story. <laughs> that's a whole different story. I like cheesy bread. Aw, well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I might bring you some the next time I come over. Maybe. That is, if the security guard will let you, um, you know, come. Yeah, that is true. Officer Vanessa is really, really mean to us animatronics sometimes. Wait, Officer Vanessa? Wait, don't tell me you and the others are living at the Pizzaplex. Of course. I mean, with all of the other pizzerias torn down and the Pizzaplex being the only other pizzeria or pizza arcade around... I... Vanessa thought she would buy all the other animatronics and, you know, have them there as museum pieces. I mean, the Pizzaplex is practically a museum for the old pizzeria. For the old pizzerias, right? Yeah, in a way. I mean, if you think about it. I mean, if you do think about it, they... It practically is. Because if you guys look... Because, guys, for those of you guys who haven't played, you know, um... Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Security Breach... Um, there is a lot of references to some of the, uh, old Five Nights at Freddy's games. There's some, uh, there's some references to, like, the old Five Nights at Freddy's games. Like, if you look in some of the displays cases, like in Rockstar Row, um, you can find, uh, Foxy's Hook, some old Five Nights at Freddy's posters, Cupcake, and lots of other junk. So, yeah, it's actually pretty funny. But anyway, back to the game. Uh, yeah, I would rather eat bread with every meal. Same. Okay, let's see. Yep, 73% agree with us. Because, again, guys, who would want to eat rice with every meal? I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. Rice is good and all, but some people can get tired of it. And plus, you don't always have to eat rice. You don't always have to eat rice. I mean, you can eat bread. I mean, like I said before, bread is a very, very important part of your diet. Oh, wait, hold up. I got to do something real quick, guys. Hold up. Turn that down. Okay. Next question. Uh. Uh. Okay. All right. This. This question. Would you rather eat a ketchup sandwich or eat a cilantro sandwich? I don't know what the heck. I don't know what the heck cilantro is. I think that's. I think they misspelled that. I think it's supposed to be cilantro. I think so. But anyway, oh, Lord, that was definitely something. Ugh. 
Anyway, ketchup sandwich. Yeah, I would rather eat the ketchup sandwich other than cilantro. Cilantro's hot. Cilantro is hot. No, thank you. I would rather eat the ketchup sandwich. Same. I would rather not eat anything that's going to burn my beak off. Uh, but you're an animatronic. You can't burn. But I can overheat. Yeah, that is true. Plus, not only that, I got the feeling you can burn because if you think about it, um, in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, everybody was kind of on fire. Thanks a lot, scrap baby. But anyway, um, I guess, let's see. Oh, okay, so it looks like 56% would rather eat a cilantro sandwich. Okay, that's definitely something. Weird. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Both of these is definitely going to give you, like, some burnt mouth or hot mouth, whatever it's called. Oh, Lord. Okay, so would you rather eat a spoonful of wasabi or... Eat a full or a or or eat a spoonful of Tabasco sauce. No, that's just horrible. It is horrible. I don't. I don't want to eat any of them. I don't want to eat any of them. I don't want to burn my mouth off. I don't want to do that. I mean, I know I'm a dragon and I like spicy things, but come on. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. Okay. Now, if I had to pick one, I guess maybe the Tabasco sauce wouldn't be so bad. Because if you think about it, wasabi is really hot. Wasabi is really hot. Plus, honestly, I don't think anybody would want to eat a... Uh, blob of green spicy stuff at will honestly i don't think anybody would want that so yeah i would rather take the spoonful of tabasco sauce um i guess i would do the same thing as well okay let's see whoa okay so it looks like 56 percent would rather eat the wasabi while 44 would rather eat the tabasco sauce guys come on really you know, those probably like half is like Japanese people, probably. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so if you had to use one of these, which one would you do? Would you rather only be able to drink from a straw or only be able to use a spoon? Okay, so basically with any drink, you would use, you would always use a straw. And with every meal, you would always use a spoon. Um... The spoon one is definitely going to be hard. Yeah, the spoon one is definitely going to be hard. Because if you think about it, what if you're like eating like spaghetti or something like that? I mean, think about it. You can't necessarily eat the spaghetti. You can't necessarily eat spaghetti with a spoon. You can't necessarily do that. That's true. You can't do that. I mean, think about it. There are certain meals that you can eat with a spoon. Others, you can eat with a fork or a knife. Come on. Just really think about it, guys. Come on. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm yawning. It's still early in the morning here. But anyway, um, I guess I wouldn't mind drinking from a straw. I mean, I've seen some people still use a straw even when they have like a soda bottle or something. When they have, like, a soda bottle, they can still, you know, they still drink from a straw or something. Or, like, if they have a can of soda, they still drink from the can of soda. I mean, it's kind of weird, but it's still pretty good, good though, I guess. Because if you think about it... Because if you think about it, guys, uh, instead of just tipping over the drinking stuff, it's definitely something. But anyway, uh... So, yeah, I guess maybe I would just drink out of a straw. Yeah, same here. I think I might do the same thing as well. Okay, because honestly, drinking from a straw seems like the most practical choice. Instead of, you know, just only being able to use a spoon. I mean, think about it. That's practically going to be too hard to be drinking out of a spoon. I mean, drinking... I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, I can't talk. I'm still tired. Anyway, let's keep on going. 
Okay, so it looks like, um... 50, okay, so it looks like 77% would rather only be able to eat, use a spoon. Guys, I just got one question for you. Why? Well, I guess maybe because... Well, because... Well, maybe it's because they, uh, want to avoid getting stabbed by their fork. I guess that kind of makes sense, because a lot of people I've seen accidentally, you know, prick their tongue while eating with a fork. Yes, that is true. Um, I have seen that before. Oh. Okay, anyway, let's continue. I knew this was going to happen. Why did they got turned down the volume? Ads. I hate them. I hate ads. Okay, let's get rid of this. Get the heck out of here, you stupid ad. I hate ads. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. We were doing so good without the ads. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Would you rather never add sugar to anything ever again or never add salt to anything ever again? Never add salt? But, but, what about pizza? I mean, most people like to put salt and pepper on their pizza sometimes. That, or, you know, sugar. I mean, think about it. How else are we gonna supposed to serve our cinnamon bread sticks? Oh, yeah. Wait, you have cinnamon sticks? Mm-hmm. Well, that's definitely something. The Pizza Plex sure is updating here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and speaking of the Pizza Plex, did you hear about the new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruined DLC? Wait, there's a Ruined DLC? Mm-hmm. It's the DLC where all of the animatronics... What all the animatronics looked like after Gregory destroyed them. You know, wait, you mean with uh, Chica missing her beak... Roxanne missing her eyes and Monty missing his, his arms and stuff. Mm hmm. Whoa. But wait a minute. What about Freddy? He never actually lost any limbs or anything. True. That's definitely something. Hmm. But anyway, back to this. Um, I think I would rather never put salt on anything ever again. Because if you think about it, guys, you can't have too many salty foods. You can't have too many salty foods. I mean, if you think about it. I mean, think about it, guys. Salt can easily raise your blood sugar. It's just bad. Really, really bad. Plus, not to mention, it could give you high blood pressure. And I don't think anybody would want that. So, yeah. Anyway... As for the sugar, yeah, I would rather, I mean, I would never add salt ever again. So, yeah. Anyway, what about you, Chica? I would rather do the same thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, I guess lots of people don't like sweeteners. Well, screw you people. Okay, so would you rather give up beer or give up wine? Uh, newsflash, I don't drink beer or wine. I only drink wine coolers. Does that still count as wine? I don't know. But anyway, uh, since I'm not drinking, I might as well give up beer. I don't drink at all. Okay, so you want to skip this one? Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. This is a hard one, and I think we're going to make this one the last question because I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. Okay, so would you rather give up all other candy or never taste another bite of chocolate? Oh, no. Chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! Okay, fish from SpongeBob. I just had to do it. I know. But anyway, come on, guys. I, I love chocolate. I mean, come on. All right, you know what? I would rather give up all other candy. Give me my chocolate. I want my chocolate. Give me my Hershey Kisses. Give me my M&Ms. Give me my Reese's. Give me my chocolate.
Give me my chocolate. I want my chocolate. Well, if I had to, I guess I would rather... Never have the taste of chocolate ever again. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm not much of a big fan of chocolate myself. I'm not much of a big fan of it. Really? No, not really. I'm not really a big fan of it. Reason why is because chocolate actually messed up my gears sometimes, and I'm really agile once I have sugar. Like, I have so much sugar running through my system already, but I'm trying to keep myself calm. Yeah, I mean, most people seem to think when people give, like, their children chocolate and stuff, it makes them all, it makes them act hyper. Me? I was the complete opposite. When I eat chocolate, I'm completely calm. I am 100% calm, so, yeah, no need to worry about that, guys, but words to the wise, do not give your little ones chocolate, okay? Do not give your little ones chocolate. They're probably going to be bouncing off the walls like Spider-Man. Don't be doing that, but anyway... Since you picked never, since you said give up all the other, give up all the other candy, and you all, I oh wait, hang on, I said I would, I would give up all the other candy. You said never have, have the taste for chocolate ever again. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said. You're getting mixed up. I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's early in the morning. Okay. Anyway, let's keep on going. So the winner of this game is. Oh, it looks like it's me. Yeah. Yeah, chocolate lovers unite. This is definitely awesome. Aw, I thought I would win. It's okay, Chica. I mean, you still are a winner in my heart. Aw, that's sweet. Well, I better get going. It's almost time to open up the pizza it's almost time to open up the pizza plex. Oh, really? What time does the pizza plex open? At ten. Whoa, that's definitely early. I mean, don't get me wrong, we do want the children to be dressed and showered before they come here to celebrate their birthdays. Well, you do realize that the Pizza Plex can also be not used for birthdays. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, if you think about it, most people, they don't always have to go there for your birthday. I mean, you could just go there to have uh, some slices of pizza, or you can just, you know, just sit back and play some games. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you for coming by, Toy Chica. No problem. Oh, and, uh, Flame? Yeah? Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's for being my number one fan for all these years. Okay, now, I'm just gonna flat out say this, guys. Hi, oh, damn! I can't believe Toy Chica just kissed me. And without her beak. Guys, honestly, I prefer Toy Chica without her beak. <laughs> That's definitely something. And guys, do not simp in the do not simp in the channel. Do not simp in the comment section, guys. Do not, guys. I see you doing that. Don't do it. And don't be gawking just because I uh, kind of had a big uh, crush on Toy Chica. But yeah. Anyway, I'm with. But anyway, um, you know, I'm with Roxy. But anyway. Okay, anyway, gotta calm down. Well, guys, that's it for this game. Would you rather? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And as I said in the beginning, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to bring Toy Chica back onto the channel. And be sure to keep an eye out for any other Five Nights at Freddy's collabs that I'm gonna be doing uh, with the Five Nights at Freddy's characters. Um, I'm gonna be looking, guys, to let you know I'm going to be bringing on a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's characters sometime soon. And maybe one of these days I might actually fuse uh, this fused world together, you know, with Mobius and, you know, uh, Equestria and lots of other junk. Um, you know, guys, I actually been thinking about opening up a restaurant here so that way the animatronics can live here as well as well. And I might actually have to talk to Gregory about, you know, letting Freddy, you know, move over here, too. I mean, if you think about it. He has to come here, too, because he is a big part of Five Nights at Freddy's as well. Anyway, pfft, anyway, if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, you guys will update whenever I post. And guys, put down in the comments down below which Five Nights at Freddy's character would you like me to bring on next. And as I said, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring uh, Toy Chica back onto the channel. And also, guys... I'm going to be putting in my community tab which Five Nights at Freddy's character do you guys want me to bring on next, okay? Be sure to keep an eye out.
be sure to uh you know watch over the community tab and uh look out for any polls that i might put up there for like future videos and stuff but anyway and eh, what else what else what else what else oh be sure to keep an eye out later on today when i do a date smash or pass today yeah i'm gonna be doing a date smash or pass today but keep an eye out for it because guys it's gonna be a little bit different from the all the other ones that i've been doing so yeah be sure to keep an eye out for it anyway this is flame the dragon hog signing out for now later flamethrowers